So that's that um, finished. I know this won't compile. Oh, well, it will compile, sorry, but it won't work the way we want it to yet. If anybody wants to try and click browse, yep, we get an exception. So there's a reason for that, and the reason is because we haven't put in a little thing here. You'll see this in all your um, your form projects, but in XNA it isn't used right away. You have to put it in yourself, and that's basically declaring this as a static thread. This might be a wee bit advanced for some people, but just trust me that it works. It's it, there's no reason for you to think about it yet until you've come on to more advanced things. So I'm just going to find a, a test tile sheet here. That'll do rightly. And there we have that. And look, we can draw on the map. Can't draw outside the map. We can scroll around the map. And this tile follows you around. And we can also change our tiles. Change the layers. And we can draw collision layers. And that's pretty cool, if you ask me. That's, that's pretty sweet. So... We don't have a lot more to do, really. There's not a lot more. We're just going to add in a new form. We'll call it a uh, save map form. I'm going to try and put this whole project up somewhere for you so that you can actually download it and look at the code if you don't have time to type it all in. So, basically, all we want in this is this so we want a text box and three buttons that's the main components of it also what we want is a save dialog form a save save dialog component to add to this and where's that save save file dialog excellent right so what I've called these are file name browse button OK button and cancel button, I'm sure. Yep, cancel button. OK, we'll just do the cancel button first because it's always easiest. Return the cancel dialog result. This dot dialog result. Dialog result dot cancel. Great. OK, so let's just we need to declare one variable for this and that's it. Okay, so we want to declare the save file name. So string save file name. Alright. Okay, so pretty much all we want to do is I'm going to go back, we're going to cl double click on browse and this is the code that I want you to add in here I want you to add in the save file, log, save file dialog title it's just specify destination file name set the default file name to the map name which is save file dialog, save file dialog dot file name equals game one dot map name Great and we want to prompt the user to overwrite a file so see if file dialog one dot overwrite prompt equals true so if there's another file there with the same name we don't want to just automatically overwrite it we want the user to have the choice do you want to overwrite this or do you not so then we want to um, that's that can't be right Oh yes, that's that's okay. That's comment wrong. Set the file name. Yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much what we want to do is if the dialog if we've clicked OK, set the file name. Last thing we want to do in this is the OK button. There's not a lot to do in that. Just save the map and return the OK dialog result. So 
if uh, the tile sheet does not equal null, so if there actually is a map and not just something stored in the memory, then we want to save it. So game one dot map dot save map. So we we're actually getting the file name here. Then we've got game one dot map dot save map save file name. And uh, otherwise we want to say you have not loaded a tile sheet. Pretty much there's no map that you ha you don't actually have a map there. And then we want to return the OK dialog result. So I'll just compile that and see if that works. Yeah, that's good. So that compiles. Last thing we want to do in this part is the save map button. We want to edit that. Okay, so as before, we want to freeze the game. Then we want to create and show the save map form. And we do that as forms dot save map form save map equals new save map form save map dot show dialog. Then we want to just get the dialog result. Pretty much we don't have to do this check, but it's good practice too. So if the dialog result is OK, set base to base dot previous click to false, otherwise set base dot previous click to false. There's other things you could add in there and that's the reason that I've put it in. There's no real reason to have it at the minute, but with you hopefully you will all try and expand this a bit and maybe learn a bit more about it. So hopefully um, it'll give you something to start with, these kind of things, just adding in bits and pieces here and there, whatever you whatever you think you want to do really. So let's try this. We'll load a tile sheet. We'll try it. we're actually gonna you know, try and save a map here. Big things. Okay, so I'm just going to change to a different tile. Okay, so that's good enough for me. Just check that the second layer does actually work. It does, see? You can see the transparencies behind it and everything. Brilliant. Put some collision in. Alright, so save map. On the desktop, we just want to go test map, maybe. Okay, and then see if that. Click OK. Hopefully it's saved. About to find out. Test map.txt, and there you have all of our tile numbers from all the layers, all the way down. And you've got your tile, your map width, map height, tile width, tile height. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm all I'm going to do in this video, and the next video we're going to finish the map editor completely, and that'll be it.